is Dr. Bradford Clampton. He's a psychiatrist. A psychiatrist? You weren't joking, Nimbar. It was definitely harder to beat that alien rattlesnake this time. She's not a sentinel. She's delusional. Is there a cure? Yes, but she'll have to be committed. <clears throat> uh, Dr. Drew needs to go with us. Yes. Drew won't be going anywhere. She'll be held under restraints. We can't do that. It could mean the destruction of the Earth. No. You are programmed to anticipate Nitron's every move. Go, bring me the victory I so richly deserve. Today, the tattooed teen's battle to save Earth from the snake trooper is jeopardized when Nimbar falls under the influence of a Beverly Hills psychiatrist. Sent by Nimbar? We're fighting for the survival of Earth. Power portal? A Nimbar? Saving Earth? Listen to yourself. Look, you think we're lying? You see it, don't you? Well, I see something. We have to go. Oh. You have to go with us. Wow, into that thing? Are you crazy? What is the meaning of this? You know outsiders are not permitted in the command center. Don't worry, we'll mind fade them later. What's up? There must be a logical explanation for this. Well, I could be sharing a group hallucination. Oh, great. The snake trooper. What a surprise. Be careful. It was almost too strong for you last time. Ah, of course. You're just a bad dream. Who is this person? Nimbar. Meet my shrink, Dr. Bradford Clampton. Shrink? I know, it's a rare example of DSS, delayed stress syndrome. Doctor, could you please cool it? Am I supposed to believe all this is real? Because if it is, then I could touch this. <laughs> Good one, Nimbar. Shock therapy. Give him a taste of his own medicine. Sentinels, to the transfer discs. Now. Scorpio! What's going on out there? Defending your planet from one of Emperor Garganus's monster mercenaries. Oh, wait, wait. If this is real, then uh, Drew is telling the truth. That I, I'm, you, 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 uh, there really are galactic sentinels. Earthlings. Look at them! They're slithery 
champion is learning Nitron's every move. Yes! And now I shall reprogram him to anticipate Nitron's every move. And with my sword, he shall at last have the equal of Mega Calibur! <laughs> Good night, Nitron! <laughs> I have waited for <laughs> the destruction of Nitron! This may be conjecture, but I would say our guy's in trouble. Monsters roam Earth unchallenged. Now, I'll portal you back to Earth, and when Nitron returns, you will defeat him for once and for all. That was amazing. Yes, it was a close call. Well, not only was there a, a physical transformation, but a, a psychological transformation as well. Sentinels, the situation is grave. You were nearly defeated. Before Garganus's monster returns, right, you must think to of a the way scientific to community. Oh, hold it a second, Nimbar. Excuse me, Doctor. What were you saying? Well, when I get back, there'll be so much to tell. You cannot tell anybody about this. But it will clear everything up with Nicole. No, I say we use a memory fader on Doctor Feelgood. And bingo, the problem is gone. Memory fader? The term suggests you have a method for erasing my memory. Not all of it. Just selected portions. It doesn't hurt. Just a moment. If you erase my memory of this event, won't I still think that Drew has delusions? I won't cancel the order, and the police will come looking for her. You can't do that. Well, you've seen why you can't take me to your clinic and institutionalize me. I'm afraid the doctor's logic makes sense. Now what do we do? We need the doc here to straighten things out in Beverly Hills to keep Drew available as a galactic sentinel, but we can't use the memory fader. We could make a deal. Deals are good. Careful, sentinels. Allow me the opportunity to examine the mind of a being from another planet. Superior being. Superior being. And I'll do anything you want. It's a deal. If you go back and sign the papers to get me off the hook, we'll bring you back here with us. Agreed. I have misgivings about this arrangement. Yeah, yeah, you can tell the doctor all about it when he comes back. That's right. I'm canceling the order to bring Drew Vincent to the clinic. Oh, oh yes. And um, would you please notify the police of that? All right. All taken care of. Wow. Well. There you are. I went to the school last night, like you said, doctor, and it was empty. Where did everyone go? This next battle shall be the end of Nitron, the Galactic Sentinels, and Nimba. That's going to be hard to do when they're not there. I'll make them come out. <laughs> I hope you have a good explanation for where you were, young lady. Well, it's simple. Yeah. She was at Swinton's house. Uh -huh. My house? Oh, yes, at my house. She was helping him clean his fish tank. <laughs> uh, it's kind of hard to explain. I'm no fool. Sounds like they're all trying to help you lie your way out of it. What did she tell you, doctor? Well, essentially the same thing. I've reconsidered my original diagnosis of Drew. 
She is not a compulsive liar. She's not? No. She's a perfectly normal teenager. I wouldn't go that far, Doctor. What a relief. Yes, it is. So let's just all forget about it, okay? Sure, life can go back to normal. Ah! What is that? What? Matt! Oh, um, well, I think you're talking about... Um... My science project! Uh, yeah. Oh, yes, went to the science project. That's what Drew was working on, not cleaning the fish tank. I don't see a science project anywhere. I see a, a thingy. I think we'll defer <laughs> to the expert for this one. Why don't you share with the group the vision you're seeing, Nicole? That big, round, weird thing. You see it too, don't you, doctor? Of course I do. Uh, why don't you sit down, Nicole? I think you've been under a lot of stress lately. Me? Stress? Oh, yes. The symptoms are obvious. This vision you're seeing, it could be a manifestation of all that stress you've been having. Yeah. Really? Yes, yes. Uh, you need a rest. Now, why don't you go inside, lie down, and close your eyes for a while, and when you come back out, the manifestation will be gone. I'm glad you're here, Dr. Clampton. I don't know what I would have done without you. Neither do we. Perfect. What has taken you so long, Sentinels? Therapy ran a little long. No time for this nonsense. The snake trooper has returned. <sighs> you almost wasted us last time. What are we supposed to do now? You'll have to use all your skills and mental ability. You must defeat him or Earth is doomed. Excuse me, I think I might have a possible solution. You? Well, why don't you reason with the snake trooper? Try to work it out. Are you kidding? Well, you tried violence, and it almost destroyed you. Try nonviolence. I do not think you are aware of what we are dealing with. No, wait, the doctor might be onto something here. I mean, we've thrown everything we've got at it, and we still almost got toasted. What have we got to lose? Our lives? The universe? I say it's worth a shot. Me too. I told you it would work. Surely violence isn't the answer. Okay, you're a monster and we're people. We're different. That doesn't mean we have to fight. What kind of message are you sending to the children of the universe by using violence to solve problems? Right, so what do you say? <laughs> Has failed. The Galactic Sentinels are in grave danger. We need to form Nitron! Apollo! Taurus! Nitron! Scorpio! Nitron! a monster that's better than the Galactic Sentinels? For your sake, I hope not. That would mean Emperor Gorganus has succeeded and will rule the galaxy. Hey, look! The snake trooper's pulling up! I wish I knew what Gorganus was up to. Well, who cares? This gives us a chance to figure out a way to defeat that thing. Drew is correct. It is your only chance. 
I will call you when the Snake Trooper returns. You have until then to devise a new plan of attack. So much for talking to the Snake Trooper. Yeah, got any more great ideas, Dr. Doolittle? Well, certainly you're not going to give up after one try. It takes a while to learn new behavior. If you think we're going back out there to talk to the snake trooper again, you ought to have your head examined. No, wait. The doctor's on to something. Learning new behavior? The snake trooper's been learning about us. And once he learns all our fighting moves... He can anticipate what we're gonna do. Well, perhaps he's learning his tricks from previous encounters. That's it! If he's learned all our moves, we do something different. So? So? We get the snake trooper to return to his instincts over his learned behavior. English, Swinton. I think what Swinton is trying to say is that when an animal is faced with indecision, it reverts to its instincts over learned behavior. We make the snake trooper face a moment of indecision. We psych him out. And when the snake trooper hesitates, we'll attack. Very good, Gordon. Oh, oh. we can test your theory. I have a feeling snake trooper is back. Coming, doctor? Wouldn't miss it for the world. The end of the world. I see he is still with you. Yes, I'm very well, thank you. Do you have a plan to defeat the alien? Yeah, we're going to pretend to form Nitron. And when the monster anticipates that move... We're gonna back off and hit him with everything we've got. Let's go. Scorpio! Torrent! Centaur! Apollo! Galactic Sentinels are going to form Nitron. Their fate is sealed. Attack, Snake Trooper! What? What are they doing? They should have formed Nitron! I hope that snake knows how to think on his tail! Sentinels do this! It was easy, Master. They, uh, cheated. <laughs> well done, Galactic Sentinels. Yes, I feel good. Today we saved the galaxy. We owe Dr. Clampton a thank you. He put us on the right track. Uh, maybe your aunt was right, Drew. You did need to see a shrink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to start my new book, A Tell All. Galactic Sentinels revealing the heroic mind. Oh, I got so much to do. I need photos of you for background material. You all can be up there when I accept the Pulitzer Prize. Oh, wow. <laughs> Let me be the first to congratulate you. Thanks. Excellent, Drew. Hey, a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. Oh, there you are, Doctor. Dr. Clampton. Where have you been? I have a great character idea for that thing I saw. Do I know you, madam? <laughs> oh, right, I remember. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Drew, where did you disappear to? Oh, hell, see, I had to, uh... I can't wait to hear this. <laughs> I had to see a guy about, uh, a... Uh, uh snake! Uh-huh. For a research project. Time just slithered away. <laughs> a snake <clears throat> for a research project. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, 
As long as you kids weren't getting into any trouble. <laughs> I told you, she buys my excuses hook, line, and sinker. sinker. <laughs>